Uh, Zen Sams is going to be joining us momentarily. She's an actress. She's a model. On top of that, she's a super mom. And um, she joins us right now from her lofty perch above uh, Manhattan. How are you, Zen? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, you know, it, I would say I'm filled with glee, but uh, it's not a gleeful day in Hollywood today. Um, as uh, they recovered the, the body of uh, Naya Rivera, uh, and now the reports are coming out like any great mother um, went right to her last breath, I guess, to save her child from perishing with her. What's the, uh, what are you hearing? Yeah, I mean, for those, I mean, everybody knows about Naya Rivera now, and she was, uh, for those that don't know, she began her career as a child actress and model as four years old on the Royal Family sitcom on CBS, and she had a number of other TV appearances. But it was playing the cold-hearted Santana Lopez in Glee that really made her a star. And that's how people know her and identify her. Um, she was 33 years old. She was only the good die young, John. Um, and yes, yeah, she went missing last week. What a devastating story. Um, and Josie, who's four, told rescuers that his mother had gone into the water to swim, but she didn't get back on the boat and basically when he looked back, he saw her disappear under the surface of the water. That floored me. That right there, literally, my heart skipped the beat and it took my breath away and I started crying. I broke down because I can't even imagine my daughter, who's the exact same age, seeing this happen and then remaining in the boat and falling asleep and being found hours later by rescuers. I mean, what a devastating story. And I wanted, to, I wondered if we weren't faced with the COVID-19 pandemic. And I wonder if this was a different time, if she would have taken him out on the boat. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're all trying to find things that are socially distant. We're trying to find creative ways to keep our children entertained. She probably, you know, went out there with the best intentions, was so excited to take her, her, her child out on a boat and it ended in such a tragedy. Um, and it's, it's such a sad story, but her character, Santana Lopez on Glee, uh, became an icon for the LGBTQ community. And so she's not just missed as a mother and as a co-star, but a lot of fans are so disappointed. Um, her, I want to make a special note here because somebody asked me yesterday, is there something up with the cast of Glee? Like, is there is there a black cloud? Because there's been other cast members. And there was another cast member by the name of Corey Monteith and Mark Salling. They'd also died. And the loss of these young actors had some questioning whether there's a Glee curse because the discovery of her body coincides with the seventh anniversary of Monte's death. And Monte was 31 when he was found dead in a hotel room in British Columbia in 2013. So there's there's something else going on over there, which is a different show. But the character was always written to be devastating. And she, she was the smoking heart cheerleader with razor sharp fans. They adored her. Uh, her name was Santana, that was the character's name. And over the course of the show's six seasons, she became a beacon to lesbian, bisexuals, and especially young Latina and Black fans, many of whom were seeing themselves on screen for the first time. And now her death has that entire community devastated. And it's a reminder of just how much it means when the people who portray LGBTQ characters and they become fierce advocates for that very same community, how much of an impact they have, even if they themselves we're are an, not. We're an you know, LGBTQIA. You gotta put yeah. in you gotta put in the IA, I'm told now. There's yeah, there's IA. more yeah. uh, IA, more letters. Yeah. No. Um, so the, you know, this this leave, oh, this show premiered in two thousand and nine and it was like this musical series sensation straight out of a, a, a choir room and everybody loved that. It. it was all Yeah, that. I didn't love it. I have to well, tell you, I'm not, I'm not big on, I'm not big on musicals. So I, when you say everybody, don't use such yeah. a broad stroke. Okay. Right. I didn't care for Glee, movie. but I know this yeah. girl was a very positive role model for young kids that were yeah. in the LGBTQIA community. And, and that, you know, that's all that matters the most, I guess, because kids got confidence from the yeah, I mean, role what, what, she played in Hollywood. But let me ask you this. Uh, a little later on in the show, we're going to be talking to Lauren Conlin about all the celebrities that are allegedly tangled up in this whole Pizzagate routine um, that they're supposedly storing little kids in foot lockers that they're selling on Wayfair and Ellen and Oprah and all this other stuff is going on. Um, could uh, is there any possibility that Naya Rivera's?
disappearance is related to Pizzagate? <laughs> no. No. It's absolutely not related. I mean, this poor this poor woman was what a what a sad way. And I know there's so much going on right now, but you know, on Women Wednesday, paying tribute to Rivera um, is is important because the LGBTQ com IA community um, <laughs> really mourned her, but not her son. <laughs> so it is her father and her mother, and she was so loved, and she will be so missed. And you know, in her her reported last act on Earth of lifting her four year old son into the safety of the boat. She was still saving lives, and as a new generation of queer women find Santana Lopez through the years, she will continue changing the world for the better because that character is very impactful. Well, that's uh, it's uh, it's a very good point you're making. I wouldn't have thought of it, and that's why on Women Wednesday we have the best guests because the perspective is uh, much better than mine, as most women's are probably better than men's for the most part. Um, how, give me a little quick, if you can, for a few minutes, uh, if you're hearing any rumblings. I have some friends of mine who are in, like, the uh, stagehands union, and they're saying they're being told that filming and shooting on anything around New York is probably not looking like anything's going to happen till October. Uh, are you hearing anything better than that? Uh, October is a very, very optimistic, right. um, very optimistic. I'm hearing that currently in the US, it's gonna be really difficult. They're having a lot of difficulty getting the insurance companies to bond, to bond the films and COVID-19 is, is still a fight. They wanna exclude it. So I just don't see how within the US, the film industry picks up where it left, where it left off or continues to, to function fully with the unions. And right now we have guilds and we have unions and we have a lot of heat coming down with inspectors for the film sets and the way it should work especially in the tri-state area and especially in America. Everybody is going overseas. Dubai, Africa, Malta, Europe, New Zealand, they're already filming there. Our productions right now at Romulus Entertainment are not going to be taking place in the U.S. They're going to be overseas um, because that's where productions have been greenlit. There's going to be an array of problems here in the U.S. before things start to pick up. And I would safely say that Closer to the end of the year, productions will be back up and running in a limited capacity. And that's only if there's a bill that gets passed for some sort of relief for the insurers to cover COVID-19. Otherwise, insurance companies, um, if they don't cover it, the bonding won't close. And if the bonding doesn't close, the financing doesn't close. And therefore, production halts. So, so, uh, so I'm, waiting for, I'm waiting for a new season of Ozark. That's probably not coming my way. I'm waiting for some new episodes on Queen of the South. That's not coming my way. And then Money Heist, uh, I think that's filmed in Spain or something. So maybe we'll get Money some. Heist, yes. Money Heist, they think they're going back in production. Uh, not, they are. They already have said it. But, I mean, it's anything filming locally. So the local is going to be the problem. And the companies, I heard somebody say yesterday, well, we do, you know, smaller films and they're, they're micro budget and, the problem is, even if you do micro-budget films that do not involve the union here in in the U.S. or in the tri-state area, that means you're working with non-union actors. That means the quality of actors you're, you're working with are not part of the union, and therefore your sales will be affected when you try to sell that movie for what you want. So Got it. it it's, you're, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. It really needs to be a collective. Everybody goes back to work at the same time, at least for the U.S., because it is a... A mess right now and nobody and nobody has the answer no nope. all right well most of the time you have the answers for us that's why i love Bye. when you join us on wednesday thank you so much i hope we're still uh looking into defunding the da because that's I, uh, our that's our CMP movement it's our show our, our segment got yes that was amazing i mean people want to hear yes. about that obviously that was pretty good because he was because Vance, Cy Vance Jr. was trending in the media that very day. Because I know. Of we were right on top of everything. All right. right we got to cut out. Thank you, Zen. Right. You're the best. Zen Sam's model, actress, super mom, and our uh, Hollywood insider. Not good news if you're waiting for new episodes, but good news if you're waiting for the news of the day, because I'm going to come back right after this with some of that.